And it's not just Iredale. There's more fallout from the decision to end COVID restrictions and quarantine orders for thousands of Union County students. Well, tonight, multiple agencies tell Fox 46 that they are now looking into actions that they can take to try to counter the school board's decision. Fox 46's Ryan Kruger is live tonight with the story. Ryan, this decision from Union County affects thousands of students. Yeah, so, so far, there are more than 5,000 students in Union County schools that are under quarantine or were at least under quarantine until this morning. The reason the reason why that number is so high is because Union County doesn't have a mask mandate. According to state guidance, school systems that don't have a mask mandate are going to have higher numbers of students in quarantine. So this morning, the school board decided they're going to stop following that guidance. Thank you to the school board for standing up and being courageous. It's been a day of passionate debate and anger. You do not have the right to dictate my health for my children's health. I'm ashamed of you. Monday night, a special joint meeting of the Union County Board of Commissioners and Human Services Board was held, and the meeting quickly went off the rails. I think as a healthcare professional, it saddens me to see the politicization of health in our, in our community. The meeting was called after the school board voted overwhelmingly Monday morning to end quarantine requirements for students who aren't sick and don't have symptoms. Until now, the school district was following the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services Public Health Toolkit, which says that if masks are optional in classrooms and someone tests positive for COVID, then anyone near them must be sent home. Some members of the Board of Commissioners accused the superintendent of putting too many kids in quarantine. When you put 7,000 children out of school, almost to prove a point, you, you've made your point. The superintendent didn't respond when we asked for comment. Neither did a single member of the school board. But both the Department of Health and Human Services and the North Carolina Association of Educators said they were troubled by the decision to end quarantining and are looking into ways to protect kids. It's not clear what actions they can take. Doing nothing is not a strategy. There, there has to be some sort of, of common ground between the school system and the public health system because clearly we're seeing the number of positive cases go up and nobody wants to see that. Union County is one of only three districts in the state that does not require masks in classrooms, but so far it is the only one that has stopped following the state's guidance. Guys, back over to you. Ryan, thank you. It's